hello everyone welcome to another video and today I want to show you very easy and small script that can help you with a resolution of uh, duplicate mark values as a warnings in Revit um, so as you can see uh, in this example in this case we have maybe 5,000 different warnings which can if you do not resolve them slow down your model it can make uh, opening of the model be slow synchronization can also be slow because all of, all of those warnings so with this script we will resolve 700 of those duplicate mark values warnings yeah then goal should be to resolve all the warnings that you have in the Revit so as you can see over here we have really a lot of those mark values so here is the script uh, I'll briefly explain or we can immediately run the script and then also with the values we will see how the script works and the script does not use any custom package so all the nodes that you see over here uh, those are either native nodes or some Python code but this script does not use any custom nodes so uh, document current it's basically the model that you just open uh, this is the uh, native node which you have in the library uh, warnings get warnings which will retrieve all the warnings that you have in the model over here you can see the same description that you also can see when you click on the manage and the warnings and together with description we also need to have the elements which are related to those warnings so over here we have 5551 warnings and over here we have elements and for some warning you have two elements for some warning you have one element but in the list again because the, this list starts from zero again at the end you will have the same amount of elements that correspond to the uh, warnings now in this case we only want to filter uh, the warnings which are re related to the duplicate mark values so from those five and a half thousand warnings warnings related to uh, duplicate mark values it's a uh, 704 uh, but for each and every uh, warning we have multiple elements so that is why we have more elements that we have actually those warnings and it is not relevant anymore to keep those elements um, in the sub list so we want to flatten that list now we have all the elements with the same mark values and now this part over here it's related with my idea how to resolve this issue you can have any other logic to resolve this uh, problem with um, uh, duplicate mark values for me it was okay we have some number for that mark it can be 100 then three elements have the same number and that is a reason for the warning uh, and basically I want to add as a prefix uh, two capital letters of the category then I want to keep that number and then as a suffix if we still have so if one element is a data device and the other element is electrical fixture and they have same number that will resolve the issue but if we have duplicate elements and and all of them are uh, data devices then okay we will also use the suffix and we will say okay this is a first of this kind and second third and so on and that was my logic the idea is just to resolve the warnings I didn't have any other logic so I created some logic to that that will resolve those warnings so because I need to know those first two capital letters I did uh, for those elements that are including the warnings I retrieve the category then uh, we will convert just the category to the string and then we will took capital letters of the category 
when we have two words it will be two letters when we have three words it will be three letters and so on and then uh, basically then just the code will uh, check the value so this middle value it will add a suffix and also it will add uh, it will add the prefix and also the suffix and basically this is the code that will do that so now if I for example if I go back to the Revit and if we go again to the warnings so element duplicate yes so we did the resolve elements have duplicate marks type mark is yet another parameter and we should either adjust the script or create a new script that will deal with type mark type mark it's type parameter but we did resolve those those 700 of warnings also if we close and open the script again so there is no values over here Let, let's run it one more time so previously we did have 5551 now I would say that we, we are missing 700 warnings and basically that is it for this script you can change this final logic uh, to meet maybe your company standards or your own standards but I think this is a beneficial script if you are in the same situation where you have a lot of warnings like those duplicate mark values thank you for watching bye